In this video, we are going to discuss a program to calculate the sum of digits in Java. There are various methods through which we can calculate the sum of digit, but we will discuss that how can we calculate the sum of digit with the help of loop, that is for loop. And also we are going to take the input from the user. And we have discussed also that for taking the input from the user, we use the scanner class of Java. So we will take the number or whatever the number the user wants to enter as the sum of digit we want to calculate. So we will take that input from the user. So firstly what we are going to do is we are going to make a class and the class name will be sum of digits. And in that particular class after the public static void main method is declared string args, we are going to declare two variables that is int i and sum so we have declared the two variables int i and sum and then what are we going to do we are going to take the input from the user so for that we use the scanner class scanner sc is a new particular object which we are creating for taking the input using the new scanner system dot in for taking the input and then when this particular scanner class object is created it is going to print something at the console window that what input it is going to take so in the system dot out print ln we are going to write that enter a number or enter the value which you want to calculate the sum of digit so it says that enter a number that particular number will be passed to this variable i let's say i is equals to sc is the object which we have created and next int next int is the method because we have here the data type integer for the variable i so next int that value is being passed from this object of the scanner class to i this variable is given here next what we are going to do we have taken the input from the user and now we are going to execute a for loop for calculating the sum of digits so next we are going to declare a for loop and the loop begins with sum equals to 0 the value of sum is 0 it is initialized 0 and i is a variable which we have passed here that i is not equals to 0 until this particular number doesn't become 0 and the execution step that is how many times it is going to execute this particular i will be executed till the division by 10 that if that gets divided and division equals to 10 that i will be execute and in this for loop what will happen sum equals to sorry plus equals to i and here you can see the modulo division by 10 this for loop will execute for example let's say we have a number as 127 so this is firstly going to get modulo divided by 10 and when the division occurs So this particular remainder which is left, it will be stored into the sum. And what is the number left? 12. So 12 is obviously not equals to 0. So then again this particular division will occur. That is 10 modulo divided with 12. And then this particular value will be also stored after the division occurs. So this is very simple. So 2 is the remainder left. Then this particular value will be also into the sum variable. So it comes to 7 plus 2. And lastly, 1 is left. So that particular is also not equals to 0 and it modulo division cannot be occurred. So this particular value 1 is added. So 7 plus 2 plus 1, it comes to 10. So the sum will return of these digits or the digits which are entered as 10. And it is going to be print that sum of the digits sum. So this particular sum variable is actually taking the values which is being initialized here with the help of assignment operators we have done. So now let us execute this program and see how it works. So here you can see that I have written the code and as we have taken the input from the user with the help of scanner class. So for that firstly I have imported the java util dot scanner class package I have imported so that all the constructors or the methods I can use in this particular scanner class and next after the input is taken then the for loop executes and what it does it just adds the sum of the values after doing the modulo division that is all the remainders are added and hence it prints the sum of digit it's a very easy program and as I run this particular program 
firstly it is going to ask me that you have to enter the digit or you have to enter the number that what is the exact number you want to calculate the sum so it asks me that enter the number for example if i enter the number as 127 here you can see that i have entered the number as 127 and it prints that the sum of digit is 10 similarly if you run this particular code again and you can enter another number also let's say if you want to enter 1 2 3 4 5 and it prints that the sum of digits is 12 so we have taken the input from the user that he or she can enter a three digit number 4 5 and so on it just executes the for loop until the number n becomes 0 that n should not be 0 should not be equal to 0 then the loop continues to execute and it just adds the sum of all the remainders which are left after the modulo division with 10 and hence it prints the sum of digits so by the end of this video we have seen that how can we calculate the sum of digits with the help of a java program